What's happening, Anoka? I'm Asa. And I'm Malachi, and today is Thursday, January 19th. The gymnastics team is hosting the annual Tornado Tumble in the Fieldhouse at 11 a.m. this Saturday, and would love to have some Anoka fans in the, in the stands in support of the fifth-ranked team in the state as they compete against some strong teams. Malachi will be there. He's a huge fan of the balance beam. Tickets for the Arctic Morp Dance will be on sale online using school pay for beginning Friday, January 20th. That's tomorrow. Students should, be, should, bleh, students should be making sure all their fines are paid, detentions are served, and overdue library books are returned. Parents should also be making sure they can, they can log in to have access to parent view. Parents and guardians must purchase tickets online using school pay, and then students need to pick up the tickets at lunch. Students must have a physical ticket and school ID to enter the dance. The MORP dance will be on Friday, February 3rd in the cafeteria from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Come out and support the theater team at the 2023 One Act Competition. The competition subsections will be at Rogers High School January 28th, beginning at 9 o'clock with Anoka performing at 1.30. Also, come to support the theater program February 1st for a night of One Acts directed by Mr. Manns and Ms. Benson, as well as some student-directed scenes. National Honor Society is beginning its new member selection process. 10th and 11th grade students who had a cumulative, cumulative GPA of 3.8 or higher at the end of Tri-1 will be invited to apply. An email will be sent out to eligible students this week with information on how to apply. Need help understanding the financial op aid options for college? Attend free virtual sessions for high school students and families offered by a collaborative of financial aid experts starting February 7. All sessions will be held will be <laughs> all sessions will have interpretation in Spanish, Somali, and Hmong. Lighthouse is a free after-school tutoring program for all Anoka High School students. Students can get help from teachers or just have a quiet place to work. Lighthouse is held in SC 171 and SC 172, ninth grade science wing, on Mondays and Wednesdays from 2.30 to 5 p.m. Students can ride the activity bus home. I don't know if you noticed, but it's snowing outside. How long will it last? Here's Scott in the Weather Center. Thanks, anchors. Snow should be pretty much done by the time we leave school today. The parking lot will be a mess, but when isn't it? Then it clears up for the weekend. Today will stay right around the freezing line of 32 degrees, and tomorrow will be cloudy with a high near 30. It could, it could have been worse. That's your weather. I'm Scott. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Scott. Make sure to pick up your Pad Above t-shirts today at lunch. Today is the last day you can pick them up, and they'll be sold in front of the Decamot. The speech team heads back out this Saturday in an annual Odyssey tournament in, in Midwest Tonka High School. It's time for sports and activities, and with that, let's check in with Lewis. Thanks, anchors. Intramural dodgeball registration is now open. Look for the QR codes around the building to get your team signed up. The league opens for play on February 13th. Questions? See Mr. Hale and or Miss Schuster. Um, <clears throat> big game for the girls basketball team tonight as they look to make it three in a row with a win over Champlin Park. That game will be on QCTV. Anderson might be calling it, so get your mute button ready. After a nice win the other night, the boys basketball team has a big road game against Champlin Park. The tip for that game is at 7 p.m. Girls hockey lost a tough one last night at North St. Paul 4-3. They played Buffalo on Friday. Boys hockey hosts Coon Rapids tonight at the Ice Arena. Puck drops at 7. That's your look at sports and activities. I'm Issa. Now back to our anchors. <laughs> I'm not struggling. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Issa. Remember, if you missed anything, be sure to subscribe to the Anoka TV news channel on YouTube. Today's lunch is chicken nachos. Before we go, National Popcorn Day. Which the staff would love to celebrate, but are currently out of popcorn. That's unfortunate. That's the news for Malachi. I'm Issa. Stay classy, Anoka. Drought and famine, natural disasters, my baby has been.